Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna be checking out SCP-106, the old man. And let's get straight into it. Oh my god. That's at least two more casualties. We might be all that's left of the recovery team. Command, we're gonna need backup. We've stumbled upon another ambush. And can someone please get the lights back on? We're sitting ducks out here. Please, remain calm. Panicking isn't going to help anyone. We aren't going to be able to get you any backup. SCP-106 isn't the only entity that escaped during the power outage, and our forces are stretched too thin as it is. And as for the lights, the repair is proving to be much more difficult than previously expected. Great, so we're screwed. Shut up, Lawrence. Dr. Buck is right. The only way we're gonna make it out of here alive is if we stay in control. In control of what? We've got no lights, only light ammunition, nothing that would matter anyway, and it looks like every other team has been ripped apart limb by limb, sucked into some crazy pocket dimension or worse. Teams that got a lot more combat experience than us, Bill. You know, I was an electrician before I became a guard here. Maybe we can go and assist. I told you to shut up. Maintenance has just reported back. Power should be on site-wide within a few minutes. Oh, Guys, thank God. you would really think that if like that they wouldn't make like like pow like just the power going now make all the scps out of their like cages or wherever they're being hold you wouldn't think that you'd be like no they must have like some backup stuff you know you would think that like you wouldn't think uh some other shit and we are almost ready prepping his temporary cell return back to the mission command and we will set the trap <sighs> All right, let's get a move on. You know, you actually sounded pretty worried there for a second, Bill. He usually only hunts young people, right? I think you're safe. I'm like six months older than you. And I know we're friends, but I'm technically your commanding officer, so... Command to all MTF units, please respond. Mission command to all MTF units, please respond. Very well then. Gustav. Gustav! Yes, Dr. Buck. Have you been able to reach any of the recovery teams? No, ma'am, it's complete radio silence. Not even maintenance is responding now. How's Dr. Ahmad doing? He's hurt pretty bad. But I think we managed to stop the bleeding. Well, that's one positive at least. Albeit a pointless one unless the main power doesn't come back on soon. So SCP-106 is as bad as they say then, huh? No, he's worse. Those that see the absolute depths of SCP-106's cruelty never live to speak about it. He's different from the other monsters here in the Foundation. He's not some mindless animal, he's an apex predator, and he hunts exclusively for sport. How old are you, Gustav? 24. We just need to come up with a plan. We have limited power from the backup generator, but that only lasts for so long, and I'm not sure if it's strong enough to operate the floodlights at a high enough wattage to contain SCP-106. Then maybe I can go. The main electrical distribution room isn't that far from here. I don't have any experience working with those kinds of systems, but... Wasting my time with stupid ideas. It's not as easy as flipping a... Sorry, Dr. Buck. I'm... I'm sorry for lashing out like that. The truth is, everyone who has gone out there is probably dead. No need adding you to that list. Plus, I need you here. We're going to start the recall protocol. But I thought you said you weren't sure if the generator could power the floodlights. I'm not sure. But we have to try something. And every second we waste makes our success less and less likely. The D-Class. Yes, ma'am. Come on, talk to me, man. What's going on here? What are you going to do to my leg? I don't like this. 
for what it's worth, I don't like it either. Hey, that's okay. I know you're just trying to do your job. But before we do anything crazy, let's hash it out. What's your name, man? Gustav. My name's Angelo. See? We're friends already. Please, I don't like this, Gustav. What's going to happen to me? I'm sorry, Angelo. Please, Gustav, I don't know what you're planning on doing with that thing, but please, just don't. I am about to initiate recall protocol. Go ahead and turn on the site wide intercoms. Roger that. Okay. You should be ready to proceed. Begin the procedure. D397194. This is going to hurt a lot. Don't try to act tough. We're counting on your screams of pain to attract SCP-106. And if this doesn't work, I will be forced to slice open your Achilles. No! What? No, no, no! Please! Please, Gustav! Don't do this! Come on, buddy! I'll do anything! Send me out there! I can get help! Or fight this thing! Whatever it takes! Just don't- no! Gustav. His screams should draw an SCP-106. What are you doing to that poor man? Dr. Amon, you're awake. Hard not to be with all that screaming. And we're in the middle of maybe the worst containment breach this site has ever seen. I think we can do without the formalities, Amelia. Very well, Tim. But back to my question. What are you doing to that D-Class in there? We broke his femur with a mallet. We needed screams of fear and pain to attract SCP-106. And once he's in there, we'll flood the room with roughly 80,000 lumens of light, which will hopefully disorient him enough to contain him. Is... is that standard protocol? Yes. No, 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 no. That can't be good. Dr. Buck, the power's out. What's the backup plan? There is no backup plan. So you broke my life for nothing? You need to get out of there. SCP-106 has almost certainly heard the D screams and will be here any moment. The door is not budging, Dr. Buck. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Looks like we're gonna die together, buddy. No, 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 not like this, please, God. He can sense your fear. You're only making things worse. Just leave them here to die? The power's back on. Oh, I guess the maintenance team was able to restore it after all. Oh my god! He's going into cardiac arrest. Set up a crash guard for epinephrine injection. Grab the pedal for the defibrillator. He may need to be resuscitated. Is that it? No, we good. And this is where it all happened. The old man dragged Bill in there first, and then me just a few moments later. I just... I wish I could have done more, you know? I was so scared at the time, but looking back now, I wish I would have pushed farther. Maybe I could have found him in there. We could have escaped together and... No, don't talk like that. It would have been impossible to find him. It's a miracle you made it out of there at all, yet alone surviving. And you managed to save so many people already. Me, Dr. Buck, Tim. <sighs> That's kind of you to say, but honestly, I wasn't trying to save anyone other than myself. I knew when I got out that I had to make my way to the electrical room and get the lights back on, or else I'd end up in his pocket realm again. Whether you did it intentionally or not, you saved people, Lawrence. You saved me. Thank you. You're welcome. Yo, I don't care about this bullshit. If this is that, like, 
if they say this and this is the end, shut up and just don't say anything else. Okay, bro. I, that, bro, are you kidding me? They really had to put that in there, bro? Like, I don't care about that shit. Alright. But, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.